The first quarter final of the men's doubles was a straightforward straight sets victory for Nicolas Mahou and Pierre Hugues Herbert over Jeremy Chardy and Fabrice Martin. The French duo prevailing 6-1, 7-5. The second quarter final saw the ever popular Bryan brothers, and after taking the first set 6 4, they looked odds on to progress to the semi finals. Eduard Roger Vasselin and Nenan Zimjanic fought back and comfortably took the second 6 1. The Bryan brothers then squandered seven match points in a champion's tiebreak, blowing a 9-2 lead, eventually losing out 14 points to 12. The subplot of day two in the men's doubles would see Jamie Murray move to world number one ranked doubles player if him and partner Bruno Suarez could overcome Feliciano Lopez and Mark Lopez. Murray's new playing partner for 2016 has proved fruitful, winning the Australian Open in only their first Grand Slam outing together. And after taking the opening set on a tiebreak, things were looking good. However, the Lopez-Lopez pairing returned the favour in the second. So to another champion's tiebreak, and this time the Spanish pair came through to deny Murray his world number one status. The last quarter-final match was between last year's winners Vashak Pospisil and Jack Sock against fellow singles specialists Philip Kohlschreiber and Dominic Team. Once again, the champions' tiebreak was required to separate these two teams, with the defending champions progressing to the next round. Yeah. Okay.